Hey, let's do a quick check-in this week for the Claverings, which, due to kind of a mix-up, didn't really have to read anything, but I decided I'd read five chapters. So this is uh, 31 to 35, uh, just in case uh, Steve does a crazy Donahue on me and uh, expects us to have read up to ch chapter 40 or God knows what. <laughs> um, or, you know, we'll expect by next week we'll have finished the novel, in which case I'll have you know, I only have like uh, another 15 chapters to go. So that all that said, uh, yes. Uh, so chapter 31 to 35. Um, yes, uh, Harry is quite down, downbeat, downtrodden. Uh, basically goes to the Burtons, eventually is called there. Uh, and uh, has kind of read the riot act, but he doesn't really know what he's going to do. He's really like, oh God. I'm, uh, you know, it's like Florence has all this wonderful family, but Julia has nobody. Um, it's interesting that, uh, the sister, sister, um, is very much sister-in-law, I guess, because she is married to, uh, one of the other Burton, the Burton brother. Uh, and she's very much really against Julia, like, you know. She is terrible, awful, a fallen woman. Basically, everything negative is like, wow, she's just really focused on her. Um, and uh, really, you know, the and, and quite reads Harry the Riot Act on all this of like, how can you do this kind of stuff. Um, so he's really, he's really down, down on it. Um, Julia has a hell of a chapter, a couple of chapters. Um, I guess it's basically because of her position in society. She has to have a companion. But it's like, uh, can you just like hire some woman to go with you? Because holy crap, she takes Sophia, um, the Count Orloff's sister with her, who immediately passes on the information that they're going to the Isle of Wight to just get away from everything. She passes this on and then refuses to go out on a walk, at which point she is she is um, intercepted by the Count, the brother, and threatened, basically threatened, like, you have to marry me or I will expose all the terrible stuff. And uh, she's like, fuck off, I'd rather throw myself off the cliff than do that. Uh, and she goes back and she doesn't punch Sophia. I, I, I think in one of these novels you want them to punch somebody. Um, <laughs> punch, you know, it's like, like, you know, just really give someone a really harsh telling off. But you can't in this society. And I guess I, 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 I can't imagine what would happen. You'd probably get locked up in an insane asylum. So they have a super awkward thing of getting back to the thing. And uh, you can tell that Sophia is just going to really make everybody's life a living hell out of this whole situation. Uh, she gets, uh, she at the very end chapter, uh, Doodle takes up the mantle from uh, from uh, from Archie Clavering and goes to say, "Hey, hey, you know, where's where's my bud's money? You you promised him access and you didn't give him anything." And she just like, and Sophia just like she goes full banshee on him. Uh, and, and, you know, he, he's like, okie dokie, ba basically at the end, it's like, she really, she's, she lays into him with some insults, which still go over my head, even though they slowly go into his and he's like, yeah, we're probably well best shot of her. And he actually just gives the money, he gives the, the money to, uh, Archie, I guess out of his own pocket and to, to establish, it kind of keeps his, his reputation as the man's man doodle who doesn't know anything, but he does know one thing, which is like, oh, she's on a whole different level. She would have killed, she would have melt Archie old, old Archie dry, which she would have, uh, maybe she still will. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting in this section, we get so much of the Burtons, the family, but Florence is getting kind of drained away from the thing. Like, it's like um, Trollope isn't going to her for all the spirited defense. She is definitely shown as, she's well, she's her absence drains her of any power in the novel, which is an interesting decision on Trollope's part. 
is this because in the end, Harry is going to go with Julia? And so you have to sort of put that remove in there and have to kind of put like, oh, she's got such a solid base around her. But um, I can see why maybe having read through the entire novel, she comes off as a milksop or a kind of just the character because she had some strong showing at the beginning. But now it's like everything since has been like, well, how wonderful her family is, and how strongly they are advocating for her. Uh, and how they will probably, you know, rally around her. So, it's, yeah, it's interesting. So Trollope's made the decision so far to just kind of withdraw from her. We just get the Burton family. We don't get her. Which is like, huh, that's interesting. So, yeah, that's basically where I am in my reading of The Claverings by Anthony Trollope this week. You'll have to see what Steve has to say for himself about Chapters 1 to 30, if I can remember what I even said about them. All right. I'm glad I did these five chapters just to keep my uh, my head in the game a bit.